Hey everybody, this is Ben Schaff with Level Up Tuts. Thanks for coming back and checking out our this new series on Statomic. So Statomic is a PHP-based content management system that uses no database and flat files to give you a dynamic website. Um, that right alone was very intriguing to me and is why I decided to dig in a little bit further. Um, because this uses flat files and no database, the resulting site is um, quite quick, right? So there's no querying of databases or any of that type of stuff. You know, the files are existing on the server and ready to get picked up. So it's fast because it's all um, file based and directory based. That means that um, taking a backup of the entire site um, is a cinch. Um, unlike maybe a WordPress or Drupal or CMS, C, or, um, CMS that uses a database where you're having to back up you know, multiple things, the files and the database. So this, is, this makes it easier for sure. Um, and so, right, the installation process is quite simple because this is um, just flat files. The, um, we really just need to upload them to our web host or local host. Um, for those out there that are doing that and and then that's that's almost it so um, what you'll need to do is um, fork over $29 or $99 depending which one of these roles you fit into um, if you're just playing around with this or doing your portfolio site or something like that that's $29 is all you'll need so go ahead and purchase and download and once you've downloaded it we're going to unarchive it and upload it so I haven't actually done anything here yet that's why we're getting this Apache test page um, so I'm going to upload it and so I grab all the files and throw them up here and now while they go I'll just talk to you through the structure so this is the entire um, application or CMS um, you know, there's no database, there's, so there's no creating of a database, user, or any of that type of stuff. Um, everything is right here. So what that means is, you know, the system will run, and it's, you know, uses PHP, and when the system runs, it's going to, you know, write files and directories within this structure. So it's just something, you know, that you'll sort of need to get used to. Um, once the files upload, there's, you know, that's really sort of it, but there is one config file that I'll have you take a look at, and it's the settings.config. And I'll go ahead while this is while my stuff's uploading it, I will or uploading still, I will just walk you through this uh, the settings.yaml file. So, um, and this is where you're going to put your license key. And if you install this in the subdirectory, you'll need to change. Where the site root is, you know, this is where you can change your name, uh, the name of your site. So let's go ahead and say level up. Oops, level up tutorials. Um, yeah, that's good enough. Um, for security, you can rename your content directory. This is sort of beckons back to Expression Engine. Um, and here we can change the URL. So I install, I'm installing this on my domain. And we can change the theme and some other con configurations. You know, we can set what we want the um, primary content parsing syntax set to. This is Markdown. Um, you could be Markdown Edge, um, HTML text, whatever. Um, and there are some other settings here too. So if you were uploading this um, uh, locally, um, and you know, if you are installing this on your local host, then it, probably is going to work just fine. So anyway, um, there are some other configurations here which we're not really going to get into, um, <clears throat> but you know this is um, the entire configuration for the site. So I made some changes. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save here and close. Oh, actually, you know what? That unfortunately was on my local one. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and <clears throat> replace that file. And that's it.
there's no run install or anything like that let's just give this a refresh and see if the site comes up indeed it does level up tutorials alright well that's it um, that's the installation process super easy um, not much to it uh, thanks for watching in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to actually log in and manage the site through the control panel thanks for watching